Hey y'all, I'd like to go ahead and update for my monthly makeup basket. It is a little bit early, about a week, week and a half, but I have already used up about half of what was in my last month's makeup basket. So I would like to get some fresh new products, go ahead and update, let y'all know where I've been. So like I mentioned, I was able to make some pretty remarkable progress over the last few weeks. I was able to finish up six items, therefore leaving six. So I finished up exactly half of my makeup basket. So you can see why I wanted to bring some new stuff in, give it some new life, and also just make progress. I want to see where I can get in the next couple of months. Since I'm leaving in November, I'm not going to have the last two months of the year to pan or to use up. I want to see how far I can get now. So I'm expanding it. I'm adding more than 10. Uh, usually I had 10 products every month. Some months I only had five actually back at the beginning of the year. Um, but I'm definitely adding more than 10 in this month. And we're just going to see where we can get. So let me start out with the products I have finished since the last time I updated. And probably my proudest achievement, that says a lot about my life, uh, is finishing up two foundations, my two Wet n Wild Photo Focus foundations. I have my summer and my winter shade in Peach Natural and Rose Ivory, respectively. In last month's update video, I mentioned that I wanted to work on my summer foundations, which was an e.l.f. acne fighting foundation in the shade beige, and then this photo focus one in the shade peach natural. And I do want to continue to do that. I want to keep adding foundations in until I have no foundations left to add in. Um, I will run out of time before that happens, trust me. <laughs> so right after that update, I took the first few days to just kind of feel both foundations out, just see where I was at, see what I really wanted out of my foundation routine at the time being and what I realized is that I didn't have a lot of product left in either of these bottles the two wet and wild bottles also that peach natural my deepest summer shade this is like vacation dark I really never get darker than that at least not that I've ever experienced uh, it was too dark for me as you can see I've lost nearly all of my tan I miss it so much anyway so I needed to mix anyways with the lighter shade uh, to get my appropriate shade after doing that a couple of days I was like damn there's only like a quarter of the bottle left in both of these I'm just gonna focus on this and go ahead and knock them out I probably only had a quarter of each bottle left max um, not too long after I had to turn them upside down to get the last of the product out after I did that it was only a few more applications and they were done for to be honest with you I am kind of of proud of myself for this. I've always been someone who's found it very difficult to use up foundations. I've been someone who jumps around a lot with different formulas, someone whose uh, shade actually changes a lot throughout the year, and also I've been frankly addicted in the past to buying new foundations. Like that's what gets me when it comes to new releases. I can pass, pass up eyeshadow palettes all day long, but a new foundation just it hits me at my weakest point like my Achilles heel of makeup and that is my complexion I have problematic skin and like every foundation bottle promises to be like a little miracle of beautiful skin anyways it's a little bit deeper than this video warrants but I uh, yeah I mean it all culminates in the fact that it's hard for me to use up foundations the next product I was able to finish up was my setting powder the soap and glory one heck of a blot mattifying powder and I knew that it was very close to being done I did not have much left of it last month's update uh, but as you can see there it is completely empty I love this powder I would absolutely repurchase it I have other powders to use of course and so I won't be doing so right now but again it's going on that like master list in my mind of like best setting powders this is the Ardell brow sculpting gel just a simple cheap drugstore clear brow gel honestly my favorite clear brow gel I would repurchase it again uh, but this particular tube had been open a year which is probably a little bit excessive for a product like this but it lasts so long I mean I had used it so consistently and even after a year there was still a lot of product left but it finally got to the point where I just couldn't use it anymore. One, I noticed that the smell of it had started to turn. It didn't smell bad, but I could tell it was a little bit different than when I had first opened it. Uh, two, I mean, you can tell it's, it's very, very empty and it just, I couldn't get product on it easily anymore. And then three, the stopper actually popped out on its own and like leaked out everywhere, which was a giant mess. So I'm more than happy to call it done. I got a year's worth of use out of it and it's like a four dollars product. Okay, this next one is going to be my controversial one. I'm not too happy about it either, to be honest with you. And that is my Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Light. 
it is done. I am calling it done. Now I did pop the stopper out of it. Um, I used it really consistently. I used a shit ton of product down to where I had to pop the stopper. So I feel like I at least got my money's worth out of it. Uh, I definitely could keep using it though. There is always product down in there after you pop the stopper. The thing is, it really freaking breaks me out and I don't know how I didn't realize it before. I guess it's because I never used it quite so consistently. I had other concealers, I was switching back and forth between all of them. Then when I got down to this one, I put it in this project pan. I've been using it every single day and I've gotten some horrendous breakouts. Like a lot of other products that I've used in the eye area, it's fine if I can contain it to just this tiny little area right there. It's okay. It doesn't irritate my eyes or anything like that. But if it gets anywhere outside of that, it breaks me out. And more so than that, I can't use it to brighten or highlight anywhere on my face. Um, I, and I'm so broken out right now and it's so frustrating. I have a spot right there between my eyebrows from highlighting on my forehead and the bridge of my nose. I have a spot like right here on the side of my cheek between like cheek and nose and that's from dragging my highlight down. Um, it'll like break out my temples up here from dragging my highlight. I have a spot on my chin. Um, it, it broke me out really horribly and it did it like all at once. Like could I not have gotten a little bit of a warning first before horrendous breakout? Apparently not. I don't necessarily know what ingredient it is that breaks me out. I'm pretty sure that I looked up the ingredients for anything that I'm allergic to before I purchased it. But I mean, we all know it is a very, very heavy, thick, full coverage concealer. And so in a sense, it really doesn't surprise me. Kat Von D Lock It Foundation. There's no specific ingredient in there that I'm allergic to that I know of. It still clogs my pores and breaks me out. So the final product I was able to use up was my perfume of the month. As always, I can usually finish them up within the month. Uh, this was the Juicy Couture Couture La La, and uh, there was my initial line. I had used it a few times prior to putting it in here, but not a whole lot. And as you can see, I was able to knock it out. It was a very easy scent to use up, very light, kind of springy. Honestly, reminds me a lot of Clinique Happy. This one's a little bit sweeter than that, but it kind of has that citrusy, fresh note too. Anyway, so like I said, very, very easy to use up. It couldn't really overdo it. So I think the reason why I can use perfumes up so easily is because I typically shower twice a day. I work out in the morning and of course have to shower after that because I'm all greasy and sweaty and gross. And uh, I put perfume on at that point. Then I've always been a night shower prior to me starting to work out in the mornings. I kind of need that shower even if it's a quick rinse off to kind of relax me before bed. I like feeling clean when I get in bed and especially here in the summer, I don't shower as much in the winter time. In Texas in the summer, it's so hot. You get so sweaty all day. Um, taking my makeup off, it's easier in the shower too. So I just kind of like that evening process. So I end up showering and adding perfume again at night even though I'm the only one smelling it I still like it so we will be adding in a new perfume of the month and of course that's the six products that I was able to use up in the last few weeks since the last update so let's go ahead and get into the products that I have left uh, from last month that I have progress on so let's go ahead and update on my Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronze and Glow Duo. As always, I'm only working on the highlight side. And hopefully you can see that I have progress in there. I've been using it incredibly consistently. I wear it essentially every single day that I do makeup, although I still have a really, really long way to go. I mean, I'm, I'm feeling positive about it. I feel like if I remain dedicated, I'll be able to finish it up or at least get really, really close by the time I move, by November. November, um, but there's still a lot of product to go. And I would be lying to you if I said I wasn't getting a little bit sick of using it. I love it. I think it's beautiful. I have no complaints overall, and I do enjoy the product, but um, I don't know. I, I'm getting a little bit sick of it. I am. I, that just happens from time to time. It's natural to feel that way, especially about products when the progress is very slow going and you feel like you're not really getting anywhere. Uh, so yeah, I've been switching it up a couple of times when I'm starting to feel a little bit bored wear a pinky toned highlighter today I tried out something different too um, but then I ended up putting this on top of it because I actually didn't like the way my highlight was looking anyway so yeah getting a little bit sick of it but I use it as an eyeshadow it's what I have on the inner corner today honestly it's absolutely beautiful um, but 
I, I'm completely fine with using it up. In fact, I'm looking forward to that day. Next, I have one of my little boring ones. This was just a mini eyeliner from Urban Decay in the shade Perversion. I use it incredibly consistently, essentially every time I do makeup as well, although I don't have it on today. And I've been able to make some really great progress on it. It's getting pretty teeny tiny now. I just smudged my hand. Lovely. So yeah, getting tiny. It's going to be gone definitely by the time that I move. I'm really not all that concerned about it, but I do have have a little bit left of it. Next we have my eyeshadow primer. This is the Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. Amazing, amazing eyeshadow base from the drugstore. Super, super cheap. I would highly recommend. Um, so, I mean, I don't know, not a whole, whole lot of progress, although I was able to pop the stopper out of this one too. It got down to that point where I had to do that. Although now that I've popped it, there's a shit ton of product left in it. So, I don't know. I don't know if it'll be gone next month, perhaps, um, but I think it'll be gone by the time that I leave. So I'm not too concerned about it, and I'm really enjoying using it. I think it's absolutely stunning. Next, we have my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and I'm making good progress with this bottle, too. Right there was my intro. That was last month, and this is where I am today. So not very much left at all. As you can see, I've been wearing makeup a whole lot more than I did the previous month, so I've got a lot more use in on it. Um, I'm fully committed and I fully believe this will be gone by next month's update. All right, and my last product rolling over from last month's makeup basket is, of course, my Modern Renaissance palette. And I had some great progress with it last month that I was super proud of. I kind of hit a second wind with this palette, and I've been able to uh, ride off that and uh, use up more shadow. I'm, I'm really happy with where I'm at. So hopefully you can see that there are some big changes going on in this palette. I now have four shades completely empty. So last month I had finally used up Tempra and Primavera. And then this month I used up Golden Ochre and Vermeer. And then I was able to hit pan in three new ones. That being Red Ochre, Warm Taupe, and Real Gar. Real Gar, Real Gar, whatever. So right now, the only uh, two shades I don't have pan in are the two like red pinks, uh, Venetian Red and Love Letter. Love Letter actually have a pretty good dip going in. Um, it's a beautiful shade, but to be honest with you, I've struggled personally trying to get that shade to blend in certain times. I'm I'm not I'm not a pro makeup artist. I'm not even like a decent amateur makeup artist. Like I'm not the best at makeup, so I'm sure other people don't have those problems, but I personally do. I've struggled with it a bit. Anyway, though, if I can use up burnt orange and antique bronze, I would be really happy. I would feel like I got a lot of use out of this palette and used up some of my favorite shades at least. After that, I don't know. I, I truly don't know where I can get. So we will see. It, we're just going to have to keep going, keep updating. I have two months and some change left. We will see where I can get. All right, and finally, let's move on to all of the new products that I'm adding into my makeup basket for the coming month. I only have 15 minutes until I need to go pick up Carson from practice. Hopefully I can get through it in time. Although every day that I go up there, I end up sitting there for an extra 30 minutes just waiting on him in the car. So I bet I could extend it a little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and knock out perfume of the month. I'm gonna try to use up the only other body mist I own except for the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Crush body mist. This was a Christmas gift this year from my mom. It is a Victoria's Secret body mist in Sexy Angel. Uh, I have been working on it a little bit already. As soon as I finished up that Juicy Couture fragrance, I moved on to this one. And I'm not even gonna lie, I have used this as a room spray too, like sprayed it in my closet and my drawers. Um, and as like a bathroom spray too. I do really just kind of want to use it up. I'm really getting down though. I have used up so much perfume so far this year, like five bottles or something ridiculous like that. I only have like six or seven left, or maybe it's like eight. I don't know. Not that many compared to what I started with, but still too much to move with. That is where I marked it as soon as I started using it, dedicating to it, uh, after I used up the Juicy Couture fragrance. And I am down about right here now. I didn't mark it because I feel like that was not like a legitimate update. That was just like a random moment in time. So I guess I'll mark it next month if I still have some left, which there's still a lot of product left in here. But if I'm using it for like extraneous activities, perhaps I will use it up and then I can move on to something else. <laughs> 
This next one I am not getting my hopes up too much about because there is a lot of product left in here. This is the Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder in the shade Pink Haze and it's absolutely beautiful to set the under eye with. Do not bake with it. I learned that the hard way and had hot pink under eyes. Um, but yeah, lightly setting the under eye, absolutely beautiful. I really can't use it as a finishing powder though. That would help me use it up, but I can't. It gives me a visible pink tint to my face. So hopefully you can see the line right there, kind of halfway, uh, it's right at the letters pink haze. So there's a significant amount of product left and just using it to set the under eye and not even baking with it at that, I don't know. But I really, really like this. It is so beautiful on the under eye, very, very brightening, very natural light reflecting look to it. But this packaging is just so incredibly bulky. Um, I just don't think I can fly with it. I don't think I can transport it. Um, but I would really like to get my use out of it. I really enjoy it. I'd hate to leave it behind, although I will if I need to. I'll declutter it if I need to. But uh, it is something I would really like to use up before I leave. So we will see. Hopefully I can at least get the vast majority of it done where I won't feel so bad about leaving it behind. Next, I have my Holy Grail Brow Pencil. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil in Rich Brown. And I do not have a lot left, as you can see, but I have been so dedicated to using my Dip Brow Pomade. I think it gives the most beautiful, natural brows, honestly. Like, people think pomade's like over the top and dramatic, but it's not if you use it with a light hand. I think it's actually more natural than this. I have had it for a while, so it's a good idea to go ahead and use it up. I've just been neglecting it because I've been focusing on my ABH pomade. So I think this is a good time to use it. It'll be one less thing to move. I may pick it up again, or I may just like go cheaper, pick up a NYX Micro Brow or something like that. All right, I am adding in another concealer. This is the Kylie Cosmetics Skin Concealer in the shade Stone. I started working on it as soon as I ditched that Tarte Shape Tape. Uh, I do enjoy the concealer, I definitely do, but it is very, very light. Uh, I pretty much just have this winter to use it up. Once I get to Hawaii, I probably will be too dark to use it, so if I'm gonna get my money's worth out of it, I need to do so now. Um, I have no idea where I'm at. I wanna say maybe it's about half full, maybe more than that though, to be honest with you. All right, next we have my Glossier Cloud Paints in the shade Puff and Dusk. These are absolutely the best cream blushes I have ever tried. I am not a cream blush fan, uh, but I do actually really like these. The formula is very, very different. It's not so much cream, it's honestly more of a liquid. The thing is, I just don't use them all that often because it's just so much more convenient for me to pull for a powder blush. But I really like them and I think like, oh, it's, it's perfect makeup for Maui, like super easy, throw it on and go, beautiful color, et cetera, et cetera. You get what I'm saying. I kind of have it built up in my head to be honest with you. Uh, so basically, I know that I'm not going to finish these. It's probably taking me a year to finish them, using them every damn day. But I need to decide if I want to take them with me or if it's just not for me, just cream blush in general and I need to declutter them before they go bad. So I'm gonna use the next month or so to figure that out. Hopefully I can make some progress on them in the least and uh, maybe I'll come to a decision on them if they're for me or not. All right, y'all, it is five o'clock on the dot, which means I'm technically late to go pick up my little brother. Although I know damn well I'm gonna like rush out and I'm gonna just be sitting there. Except today of all days, after I've been sitting there for days it's like no today will be the day that he got out five minutes ago and is calling me wondering where I am anyway thank y'all so much for keeping updated on my monthly makeup basket I really enjoyed the progress I've made this last month and I hope I can keep it going and keep using some stuff up it's making me feel good like I'm not gonna have to get rid of so much and I know it'll all go to a good home but I've spent a lot of money on this stuff I don't like feeling like I'm just throwing it down the drain so I'm glad I'm getting some use out of it anyway again thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all in a couple days in my next video. Love y'all.